Hi everybody, it's Julie, and today I have a project for you from Pro31's Designs. And I've used the gorgeous girl image on the front cover. Um, this is the stamp that's entitled Waiting, and it's one of my absolute favorites from the collection. I just love how innocent the little girl looks, and I just think it's just really super cute. I colored her with my Copics and with my Marvy Uchida alcohol markers. And I just think that she came out so sweet looking. And I tried to match the colors of her dress with the colors of the pattern paper. I always try and do that when I'm making um, a card. I try and make sure that I pick out colors for the clothes or for the accessories or whatever on the, on the um, image. And I try and match that to the uh, pattern paper that I'm using. The pattern paper that I used on this card is the My Mind's Eye, and it's called Miss Caroline. And it's the All Dolled Up um, collection, and I just really absolutely love this paper. If you haven't picked it up, I definitely suggest that you, um, you know, that you go to the store and pick it up. These The 6x6 six six pads are so affordable that um, it's really hard for me to resist buying them because they just, I just love them. And when you only have to pay, you know, sometimes less than $7, this I got at Archiver, so it was a little more expensive than what you would probably pay online somewhere. Uh, but for $6.99, you get 24 sheets of paper. And even if you're just making cards with it, I mean, you can get tons of cards out of one of those packs of paper. So it's definitely worth it. Uh, let me show you what I've used from Pro31's designs on this card. Uh, if you look down here at the flower uh, cluster that I've created, you're going to see two of these really super pretty um, 8009 E flowers. Uh, these are the ones that are kind of crinkle looking and they're just so super cute and they're a really good size. Perfect for cards or projects or whatever you want to use them on. The white ones are uh, sprayed with the smooch um, a spritz and it's the clear one it's the one with like the silver um that one this one right here i've taken the wrapper off on accident so i'm not i can't really remember what it's called but um it's the silver one it's really super pretty and uh so the white ones are sprayed with that and then i've also added in one of those gorgeous calla lilies these are the um uh, porcelain looking flowers and then there's two little acrylic flowers here and that's in like that salmon color and it really matches this color here really really well and then I've sprayed this brown rose which is the same as the white one here I've sprayed it with the smooch spritz in the log cabin and the log cabin is a like my favorite brown. I finally found a brown that I love and I really really love that color and you can kind of see a little bit how the light really reflects off of that spray. It's really super pretty. And then I've added in two of the wheat leaves here and these I tell you are so um, you can use them on absolutely everything. They're very versatile. And then I've also added in one of the butterflies and these are the um, crystal butterflies and then I've used some prima bling to kind of use be the flourishes for the butterfly and I've also used some prima bling down here and up here as well and then I've also if you can see here right here you can see that I've used some corrugated cardboard and I've just peeled the top layer off I've peeled the paper off the top so that you can see the actual ridges um, of the corrugated cardboard and I thought that that really just kind of looked really cool and then I've used my lifestyle crafts um, oval die and then the oval scallop die as well to cut out uh, the image as well as the um, background for the image so I just thought that that came out really cute and then on the inside I've pretty much uh, just done the same thing. I have brought over the same color, colored pattern paper that I used on the front just in different uh, quantities. You know, I've used bigger pieces of some things. And then if you see this piece of paper right here where the um, greeting is, that's actually die cut from the corrugated cardboard, from the, the paper that I tore off of the, the cardboard. I saved it and I cut it out and I used it as, for the greeting. So you can write your greeting in there. And I just thought that that came out so cute. And I love to be able to use that and not just have to throw it away. Okay, everyone, I hope that you like my project. Um, as always, I will link below to Pro31's Designs to their Etsy shop. 
to their Facebook page as well. Um, definitely join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you there. Uh, Esmeralda is really great with doing drawings for Facebook fans and also letting them in early on any sales that she might be having. So definitely go over there and become a friend or like her site. And um, I'll also put a link to my blog. And on my blog, there'll be individual still pictures of this card as well as links to all of the individual products that I've used. All right, everybody, I hope that you'll have a wonderful weekend. Um, I hope that the weather cooperates with you guys so you can be outside and enjoying nature, or enjoying the outside and the fresh air. And I will see you, I'm sure, sometime this weekend. All right, everybody, bye-bye.